Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 7th, 2020. So we're going to dive right in. We have some interesting things that are happening here in December and then we start 2021. Now I'm going to be putting extra content up over at Gumroad. I'm working on getting that filmed. <laughs> Hopefully that will be done very soon. If you like this content, please make sure that you are subscribed. And of course, check out my other courses over at Gumroad. All that information is down below. And if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. We will go in deep. We will see what lessons you might be up against for the coming time. I don't want to say for just 2021, but you know, because time is not linear, but whatever it is that you feel might be coming up that you want to look at, just go to my website, let me know. So for this week, I feel like there, huh, it, it's a preparation for something. Like there, there's, you know how we have these moments where we're just supposed to kind of just lay low a little bit. There could be some positive turnabouts for some people, uh, but remember nothing happens unless we make it happen. So as we come into 2021, there are some really big choices to make. There are big changes. Uh, we're being asked to completely rethink who we are, <laughs> right? So when we just think that we are these mental beings, you know, these ego uh, driven beings, now we're starting to relearn our compassion. Not everybody's gonna be on board with that, but that is something that we're supposed to be opening up to. So this week could have a heart opening kind of experience. Now, does that mean everybody's gonna have a perfect week? No, of course not, of course not. But there could be something that triggers you to come and drop down into this, this space here and you'll get a glimmer of remembering who you are, all right? Now, a lot of us are always so concerned about what's happening on the surface. We talk about this all the time and uh, I'm going to tell you right now, if we don't get out of that, <laughs> that story, if we don't get out of the attachment to that story, we're going to be in for some trouble. And we're already seeing people um, not handle these times very well, where, you know, they're constantly making themselves out to be a victim or they're, you know, acting as if their outside circumstances dictate their happiness. And so... You know, that is so unpredictable that, you know, they're never happy and therefore they're not showing up in the world at their full capacity. So we have to be mindful of that. We have to stop and look and go, okay, what is robbing me of my joy? Again, that does not mean that you're not going to get upset. It doesn't mean that things aren't going to be a little stressful or here and there or what have you. But you have to remember that you are your own anchor. And we have to come back into our heart space. Now, a lot of people don't want to do that because it can make them miss home. <laughs> you know, that sense of coming home, miss that, that sense of divine love that we remember from another time in space, maybe. Um, or there could be something there that needs to be worked on. I'm going to let you know right now, this is the time to heal. 2020 has made us stop in our tracks. It has made us, uh, you know, stop our routines. I've been telling people this in personal readings just to remember this. Instead of, you know, falling down into this perspective of, oh, what an awful time. It, yeah, there were awful things that happened, but what it taught us was so valuable. It taught us to be resourceful. And that's getting us prepped for all the major changes that are occurring in the next several years. Actually, it's not just 2021, but next several years. So... I, th I feel like for this week, there is some reevaluating going on here. For some of you, you might choose to take a break, unplug a little bit. And this isn't in a self-righteous way, right? Where we hear people say, oh, I just, I can't take the news anymore. I just, you know, the people who say it like that, if you genuinely can't take the <laughs> news anymore, totally feel you, I get you. What I'm getting at here would be the people who try to make themselves seem more spiritual and super sensitive by claiming, basically we have people mimicking others so they see somebody who is spiritual and they want to come off and look that way so they mimic what they hear other sensitive people saying but they're not really sensitive a lot of them don't even have empathy I, this is a weird thing but i'm hearing night crawlers 
I think that's a bug, isn't it? Um, or something. But um, I'm hearing night crawlers as a way to describe this. So they're going to become more and more prevalent. We're going to be asked to start recognizing that and recognizing what part of that energy is in us. Every single one of us has the capability of being nasty, of being angry, of um, being the victim, being scared. You know, none of us are above that. But we have choices to make, major choices to make, and we have to decide what route we're gonna take. So the biggest thing I wanna lay down for this week is reevaluating how much external circumstances dictate your happiness. How many people put their lives on hold until they get married, or they put their lives on hold until they have that career that they want, or they sacrifice everything to have a career, and now you're out of balance. You know, and then you find that once you get to where you always wanted to be, it's not what you thought. And now it's not even, it doesn't even feel good, right? So can this be, let's just break it down. Can this be a really good week for some people? Sure, but how is it good? It's good because you have that personal awakening. You have that personal revelation that says, oh, there's my clarity. Oh, the things that I've been going after. I don't really care about those things. <laughs> I don't really want those things. What my priorities are, are over here. Or this thing that I've been doing is draining my energy. Some of you are going to stand up uh, to people in your life. And I don't mean like argue with them. I mean stand up and say, I'm not going to participate in this anymore. I'm not going to be a part of this group anymore. I'm not going to, whatever, you know, I'm not going to take part in this, that, and the other. Yes? So setting those boundaries, backing up, and finding something that helps you feel connected. This is what we're being asked to do, to find any moment where we can connect back into the divine through the heart space. This thing where everybody wants to make vision boards, and just, oh God, every time I cringe, every time I hear somebody say that, because we're not in those times anymore, guys. I'm, I'm telling you, I like my vision boards. People get so defensive about it. I like them. They work. Yeah, you can manipulate energy with your mind. Of course you can. That's what a lot of things have been historically. We're being asked to be different beings now. We're being asked to remember our full capacity. And that's not just the mind. That's the heart too. And when we're tapped into our hearts, you might find that the things that were on your vision board, again, your goals change. And so you don't really care about it so much anymore. You feel me? Okay, so let's get onto the cards. All right, so let's see what we have for this coming week. discovering what well, we're all discovering our delusions and how we've taken spiritual concepts and twisted them I say that all the time but we're gonna start hopefully learning from that and releasing ourselves from that won't that be nice and figuring out our truest nature all right so what do we have here we have the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So this is that thing that I was saying where it's like something is, it's getting us prepped. It's trying to get us ready for what is to come. And that is major change. So people who are sitting back and going, oh my gosh, I can't take one more thing. And it's not because they've actually been through more than anybody else. It's just they, again, every little thing that doesn't go according to their expectations, they think it's bad and something, um, terrible is going to happen or what have you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if you're in that mentality or if you're one of those people who keep saying, I can't wait for everything to go back to normal, you're not going to be handling the coming times very well. It's, it's no. <laughs> okay. We have to change who we are. We have to change our perspective. We're building up to something that is going to change our circumstances forever. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So interesting. We need to watch our health. We need to watch our heart space. Be working with Archangel Raphael to help you get in touch with that heart space. And this idea of you are good enough. What is that implying? Well, we know that there's a huge issue with, uh, let's say, egos. Okay, whatever you want to label that. 
there's a huge issue with that. And this is usually because somebody doesn't have very good self-esteem. I think my lamp is about to go. <laughs> it just brightened again, didn't it? I gotta remember it's that lamp. Hmm. Anyway, um, so we're seeing people, you messing with me? Are we gonna be doing this the whole time? So when we start working on our solar plexus, our sense of self-esteem, then we're not so locked into, oh, I have to manifest that job or I have to manifest that car or that house. If you have nice things, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's the intention behind wanting them. That's what we're trying to unlock. That's what's needing to change, okay? So you are good enough. Don't let things drag you down. And you're good enough just as you are. See, that's the other thing too. I think that's a bigger message about society. So especially anything having to do with standards of beauty or, you know, you're not a successful man unless you make this amount of money and you can take care of everybody. You know, all of those things, we can start breaking that down. Although I have seen some men overcorrect and then start to expect the women to take care of everything. You know, it's about being equal and balanced and not taking advantage of one another. Just saying. All right. <laughs> then we have a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. I feel like a lot of people, because we're working on our self-esteem, because we feel that change is there, we might start taking a different approach to how we relate to one another. And so, you know, if you are somebody who has been out there with the goal of love, that's wonderful. But you have to understand your own heart before you can try to connect with somebody else. And what's more, if you are in that divine love space, you're not going to allow yourself to attract in somebody who is gonna take advantage of you, who isn't gonna be kind to you, who is just trying to use you for whatever reason, okay? Something healthy and balanced and not delusional. Not what we're telling ourselves this spiritual story around some connection, okay? Now, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, the, there's the scales here and there needs to be balance. Again, equality and harmony, all right. <laughs> There's only three cards, I thought we had four. Your hard work is paying off, new moon and Capricorn. Okay, so things are coming about, all right? You're, but again, we're being asked to take a different approach. It's not going to work in the same old way, okay? So this is, you know, your hard work on a spiritual level, your willingness to look at those internal issues, to see what your patterns are. I'm doing the same thing. I'm going through all of this with you guys. And yes, this could be some surface level success coming to you but it's interesting for some of you who have done that really deep work when it comes you go oh look at that oh, okay you know but it doesn't define who you are it doesn't you know run your life does that make sense okay so let's get a color card here okay <laughs> all right oh i got them upside down Oh, oh, is that right? Okay, well, <laughs> this fell right out of the deck. Gold, attract abundance. The number is 21, 2021. There it is. Look at that. So here is our chance, again, to see ourselves as abundant beings to, you know, gold is the color of the angels. It's the color of the divine, you know, coming through us. I'm going to freak out over this lamp. Don't fail me now. <laughs> Got the end of the year to get through. Don't fail me now, lamp. I don't know. I'll have to see what I can do with that. Anyway, it's time to see ourselves as abundant and not competitive with one another. And like, there's not enough to go around. There's always enough to go around. And again, this is asking us to connect into the divine. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.